So I'm happy to report that you guys are enjoying my boulder wall design uh, that is intended to destroy the destroyer as well as uh, for other types of farms. Uh, and you guys enjoyed it so much so that it seems like y'all want the design for yourself or just the world download. So those are things I can take care of. Uh, but in this video, I want to show you guys how to make it. Uh, the good news is, is that it's really simple to make. Uh, it is kind of laborious. There's a little bit of work that goes into it and a lot of cobblestone grinding. So let me turn this off and we can just hop right to it. Oh, I made it. Okay. So in order to create an infinite stream of boulders, as you can see here, you need exactly uh, 200 boulders or more, as in boulder statues. Boulder statues are easy to make. They just require a lot of uh, stone that you can harvest in your world. Uh, and you can look up on the wiki how to make them. For this design, I have two rows of 200 boulder statues on both sides. So a total of 800 boulder statues are being used here. Uh, and the reason I have that is so I can do double damage against the boss. Uh, so as you can see in the wiring, all I've done is I've attached wiring to the tops of these boulders, extending all the way down this way and all the way down to the right. And then down here, back at the base, I have it attached to this uh, quarter switch timer. So it's only going to be a timer that will activate every quarter second. Um, of course, boulder statues can only activate every 15 seconds, but I like the quarter second timers because it activates the trap immediately and I don't have to wait on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. I'll use my binoculars and show, to show you guys. So you can see boulders are simply spawning down, and in a little bit they'll spawn some more. Uh, and they're rolling down. As you can see, the top rows are farther back than the bottom rows. That's so that the angular path of their descent, of their of their descent, uh, will be too wide as opposed to one giant thick stream. If I had them uh, exactly on top of each other, it'd be one thick stream, which doesn't actually do more damage. Stacking boulders on top of each other does not do more damage, but having them spaced out like this does do double damage. So you have to implement it like this, or else it'll be the same as just having one row of 200 boulders, if you were to place them on top of each other. Uh, I believe the math is, if you want two thick streams, you're going to have to place these blocks. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 uh, single blocks behind the start of the bottom one. So you can see each boulder statue represents two blocks. So this would add up for 14 blocks uh, behind and that's how you create this angular path that's pretty satisfying um, down here I have boulder stoppers uh, which are intended to decrease the amount of boulders that are existing in the world at once so I can kill them a little early uh, because the main flaw with this design specifically is that once the boulder cap exceeds 999 as in when there are more than 999 boulders on the screen at once uh, then boulders just automatically despawn uh, immediately. So that's a, that's a problem with the trap that I'm still trying to work out. Um, I don't think I'm I don't think I'm leaving anything else out. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and like post it on the Reddit comments or on the uh, if this is on YouTube, go ahead and post it on the YouTube comments. Uh, but I'm really just having a lot of fun building this, and I've come up with a few more designs already that I'm excited to show you about. Um, so I know it's been kind of. I guess it's going to get a little spammy, but I'm just going to wait day after day to post one. So this is how you do it. Thank you.